wonder hussy here, barreling down the highway through the hinterlands of southern Nevada, on my way to a brothel. Well, it's not a brothel anymore. Now it's a bed and breakfast. That's right, I'm back at the Shady Lady. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you might remember I was just at this place a couple months ago when I was on my way to stay at the Hard Luck Mine Castle Airbnb, and I had to stop off here first to get the keys, because the same guy who manages the Hard Luck Castle Airbnb also owns the Shady Lady B&B, and he was kind enough to invite me over to stay the night and check out this fabulous ex-brothel turned bed and breakfast. Oh my god. Talk about a warm welcome. Look at these peacocks. Look how nice this place is. Beautiful green lawn, American flag flapping proudly in the breeze. Look at that blue sky, white fluffy clouds, peacocks all over the place. Okay, let's go inside and see if Nigel's here. Yes, oh my god. Nigel, you look so patriotic. Yeah. It's uh, Memorial Day, that's, Wanda. That's right, it sure is. And who's this? And this uh, is my Paul, cousin, Wanda. Paul. Paul, how nice to meet you. Thank you for having me as your guest. I appreciate it. I'm super excited to stay overnight at a genuine Nevada brothel. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, do I get the best room? You do indeed get the best room. But there's so many cool rooms. I don't know. Well, we'll put you in the one that'll keep you out of trouble. Look and at this French pots. provincial furniture. Oh my yes. goodness. This is beautiful. This is the sofa that the guy would have sat on here. And the ladies used to, customers would be sitting over here. Okay. The ladies would come in and sit or stand under these lights over here. Oh, look, there's little spotlights. There's the spotlights. <laughs> so you could see every uh, wrinkle, every wrinkle, every dimple. Hey, now, do you, how many uh, women worked here? Do you know? It was anywhere between three and six. It was known as a small brothel with a fixed price. Oh, a fixed price. A fixed price, so there was no haggling and squabbling and fighting. Wow, but yeah, really nice furnishings. And it is, it's in good shape. I mean, for as old as it is. Huh? One day I do need to show you the list of trophies that the place. List uh, of trophies? Yes, I didn't know they gave brothel trophies. Brothel of the year. Oh my goodness, look at that. Small brothel of the year, 2009 Shady Lady Ranch. Presented at CWMC14, what is that? I have no idea. It's like a convention for brothels. It must be. Look, so they won it in 09, 07. Oh my god, 06. Yeah. They were yeah. cleaning up. That's amazing. The, the girls were busy. Brothel pictures, what is this? It's the map of brothels or the. Oh, a map of brothels. Of brothels. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, thank you. We need more light. Let's see. And, um, this is version one. Oh, I think I have a very similar map, actually. So this was probably from the 70s, huh? And we're not on this one. Oh, you're not? And we're not on this one. Oh, this looks more 80s. Look at that. Oh, it's my goodness. It's more 80s because the owner who started the brothel used to own Bobby's Buckeye Bar. Oh, right. Her name was Bobby. And sold that. And so here we are on generation number three. So oh, okay. Gen here this we are, is uh, Okay, so now the Shady Lady finally shows up. You can finally see here just north of Las Vegas. Yeah. What are we like, two and a half hours two, north? Two and a half hours. Oh, look, fan art. Oh, my so goodness. The oh, that's. Oh, how cool. And this was done in 2019. Oh, now I feel bad that all I'm making is a video. And this is feeding. <laughs> feeding the uh, peacocks and they're the peacocks and there's a... Now tell me about the peacocks. How many peacocks are there? there were originally about 20 peacocks, but um, what they happened? seemed to <laughs> spend a lot of time doing certain activities. Well, it is a brothel, they I mean. They free. They um, uh. do whatever they need to do at night, and now we have 40. I found this in one of the storerooms. Oh, a map of Death Valley. It's an old, old map of Death Valley back in the, somewhere back in the Dark Ages. Oh, wow, because we are just outside Death Valley. Right outside Death Valley. I mean, that's what people stay here to go to Death Valley, right? That's the main people that come here. Okay. Let me take you, Wanda, now into the... Um, yeah, show us some rooms. We're, we want to see where we could stay if we stayed here. This is a, a, a cave, like a cave theme. Oh, it is. Sweet. Look at that. It's, it's kind of reminds me of the Hard Luck Castle. Yes. Wow, look at that. And it's got a big mirrored wall. I'm sure that was popular when it was 
in use as a brothel. Look, what nice bed, beautiful furnishings, very tastefully plenty, done. Plenty of mirrors. I see that. And I'm sure there was lots of activity in this really heart shaped nice jacuzzi heart -shaped type. I tub. love it. That is, that's nice, Nigel. Very nice. Wow, you've done a really nice job keeping the original flavor but making it comfortable. What's this? Oh, that's the uh, that's uh, teacup Sally. Teacup Sally. And you can see she's is that, carrying her teacups. Oh, it sure is. Look, yeah. teacup Sally. And she has her brothel license from the uh, from the eighteen hundred oh, late eighteen hundreds. Signed in Tombstone, Arizona, by uh, Virgil Earp, Wyatt Earp's brother. That's yep. wild. Yeah, sheriff. Sheriff oh, Herb. What? Now that's talent. All right, <laughs> Wanda, let's uh, let's get you into the uh, Asian room. Oh, the Asian room. That sounds fun. Oh, look a, at this. This is a nice size room. Oh gosh, themed. this is cool. Look and, at this red wall. It's walls. all red. Oh my goodness! Wow. Yeah. Look at this arch doorway. Oh, I just love this room. And there's a hundred year old bed there. Oh, I was just going to say that's a look at this bed. It's like built into the it's, it's a box bed. Box bed. That's what it's you only it. get off on. You can get off on the one side. Now, why is that? Is that meant to like trap something? Of course, we have changed the mattresses recently. <laughs> oh, these aren't so the original mattresses. Not, unfortunately, not the original oh. mattresses. Oh, okay. And all bedding is new as well. And the bedding is new oh, as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a nice bedding. Well, this is another nice room. Probably has a great view. And then this little like seating area. This is cool. Lucky Buddha over there. Oh, good, Lucky Buddha. Look at this beautiful screen. So it closed as a brothel in 2014, right? Yeah, probably about eight nine years ago. And then how many years has it just sat here before you bought it? Well, it, it started as as a bed and breakfast, and then it went rapidly downhill. Wait, you mean it was a bed and breakfast? Just before we got here, oh, I when see. we purchased so it, so somebody else did it as a bed and breakfast. Yeah, and they went downhill. Started off and they went downhill. We came. Then you came up, in and took over and, and dug and everything out of the and sand and dug everything out the sand and just oh. put it back to where it belongs today. Okay, so we've seen the Paradise nice. Room, we've seen the Asian Great Room, Asian. we've seen the Victorian, and now we're going to see the room where I'll be staying. Yes. And you, yes. Nigel really rolled it out for me. He put me in a very nice room. This is the Marquee Outside Room. Not only was my room separate from the main building, and thus more private, it also had a private back deck with amazing views of the Nevada desert. And that's Area 51 out there. That, I mean, that literally, Area 51 starts yep. just right there. Uh, and you can see the white um, radar station on top of the hill there. Beautiful. Look at my little deck here. Oh, a fire pit. Yes. Have a beautiful fire star. I mean, the stars must be amazing. Of, uh, oh, I could have a Barbie over here. Outside here, and of course, you're quite welcome to sit outside here. Oh, yes, and these rocking chairs. Yeah, no light pollution. Look at that. And there's going to be a big meteor shower tonight. Yeah, there's oh. going to be a meteor shower tonight. Yeah, that's great. And it's beautiful and clear, so that great view out there. Let's take you inside. Okay, okay, now let's go see what the room looks like. Here. Okay, here's where I'll be staying tonight. Into the cabin. Oh my goodness, it's a log cabin! Now, is this original from the brothel? This was with the brothel. This was oh, so the you could have booked a log Favorite room. rooms for action. Wow, look at this. So if you book this cabin, you get a whole cabin to yourself. Really cool rustic bed that looks very cozy. It's got a whole kitchen. Look at this. Fridge, microwave, toaster, hot plate, coffee maker. Oh my word. And look at this awesome sink. Love it. Very Until nice you see the bathroom. Oh, I should go check out the bathroom. You have oh, to check man. out the okay, bathroom. Okay, we're right here through these curtains. <gasps> wow, look at this bathroom. So it's all log cabin on one side and stone on the other. Look at this shower. My goodness. This is some shower. Plenty of room to maneuver. Looking forward to using that. The floor. 
Oh my goodness, look at the floor is stone also. Wow, I'm gonna spend quite a bit of time in this shower. This is nice, Nigel, thank you. Your own air conditioning or Oh, okay, unit. yeah, I can stay nice and cool. And fans. Really unique oh, fan. Yes, I and love a, that fan. And a really nice lantern oh, over the bed. chandelier, look at that. This is a really cool cabin. Very rustic, but very comfortable. Yes, very rustic. And with a, a view that you just can't beat of this amazing pool and Area 51 just beyond. And don't forget the beautiful views. Yeah, I can't forget that. Wanda, I think you'd like to see the area where the girls used to live back in the day. Oh my gosh, I would love to see where the girls used to live. So the rooms that we just saw, those were all just rooms for business. Yes. But the girls lived in a different wing. Yes, okay. and that was, that's good because you basically then uh, can separate your work from your home life. These were the two women that used to be holding the open sign and now they're back here. Woo -wee. Hard to pick the blonde or the brunette. Peacock eggs. Oh my goodness, Would look. you like one for breakfast? Do, are they good? I know, I'm never gonna try one. Why not? because I'm used to them being this size. Oh my God. Wow, look at that peacock eggs. They're, if you don't eat them, they're gonna hatch and you're gonna have 50 peacocks. Well, Nigel, you better start eating peacock eggs. And in here is basically the quarters for the birds. A oh, this is the, where the birds live. A lot of the females live here, roost here. Oh, look and you made them a little bring, sanctuary. And bring their, they have their own little sanctuary there. Oh my gosh, it's so violent when peacocks mate. That was rape. And of course, this building over here, what you're looking at over here is the madame's quarters. Oh, so this is where the woman who ran the brothel lived. Yeah, the Bobby. That's her quote, private quarters over there. And what do you use that for now? And we live in those private quarters. Oh, you quarters. live in the madam's quarter. How nice. We live in the madam's quarter. But as for the working girl's quarters, here is their little kitchen. So here's the, here's one of the little dining rooms here. Yeah, they sat there and drank their coffee, smoked their cigarettes, painted their nails. Here's your, here's your kitchen. It's a, it's a yeah, they kitchen. Had, hey, they got to eat too. They had to make their coffee. And here's one of the dining rooms. Oh my well, god. Wow, well, this room. is pretty nice in here. But do you rent these rooms out too now? Yes. That's right. If themed rooms aren't your thing, you can actually stay in one of the original bedrooms where the working girls at the Shady Lady lived. Yeah, just a bed and a TV. That's all you need. This is one of the rooms that we oh, sell okay. that the girls used to live in. Oh, look, it's a double. Look how cute. And, you know, this is generally for kids. So oh, if, sure, you have your family staying so here. So if you have a family staying here, a husband Parents and wife in one stay room. over there, and the kids, kids stay in next here. door. Okay, well, the working girls' quarters were nice, and those other theme rooms were nice, but I was all about going back to my own quarters to take advantage of one thing. That amazing swimming pool with the incredible view of Area 51. Okay, it's technically not Area 51, it's the entire Nevada Test and Training Range, but whatever you want to call it, it's an epic backdrop for a lazy afternoon floating in a pool in the beautiful, peaceful middle of nowhere Nevada. After relaxing away the afternoon in the pool, I had a bite to eat and then I went over to the main house to join the rest of the guests for sunset cocktails on the front porch. It was a beautiful, peaceful evening and there was a really interesting international group of visitors staying at the Shady Lady that night. At a small bed and breakfast like this, it's a totally different experience than staying at a Vegas mega resort. You actually get to know your fellow guests, and we had a great conversation. But eventually, we all drifted off to our quirky, comfortable bedrooms, and I took advantage of my awesome rustic shower, which turned out to be absolutely excellent, with piping hot water that put me right in the mood for bedtime. Oh my god, this is so cozy. Nighty night. <sighs> Man, what a place to wake up. I could sit here in the sun by the pool listening to the peacock screech all morning long, but I have to go to breakfast. That's right, this is an actual bed 
and breakfast. Not like most air B and B's. This is an actual B and B. And Paul, if you remember Paul, uh, Nigel's cousin, is so kind as to ask all the guests last night what time we wanted our breakfast. He said any time between seven and nine. And uh, well, thankfully, most of us kind of leaned more towards nine. So it's about 8.30. I'd better go over there now and see what he has prepared. Holy cow, look at this beautiful breakfast. Yummy. I'm gonna be fat as a horse by the time I leave this place. <laughs> Oh man, I am stuffed. That was an awesome breakfast. But I don't want to leave quite yet. You know, I gotta go to the room and pack up a few things, but well, there's no hurry. I only live a few hours away. Why not just enjoy this beautiful day at this beautiful ex-brothel? Okay, I guess I'm ready to check out out of this awesome bed and breakfast and I mean that in the true sense of the word I know I keep harping on this but it's so unusual in this day and age to go to a bed and breakfast and actually get a bed and breakfast I mean most of these hotels you stay at nowadays even Airbnb which I guess is supposed to be bed and breakfast it's so impersonal you know you don't even most of the time you don't even see or meet the host let alone meet all the other people that are staying here at the same time as you. And that's what was so cool about this place is, you know, having breakfast this morning at that table with all the other guests who were staying here. Oh. And then the cocktail party last night, we all looked at the meteor shower and kind of chatted with each other about our travels. And oh my goodness, I mean, staying in a big hotel in Vegas is so impersonal. I mean, for me personally, I'd much rather stay at one of these funky little places out on the fringe where the experience is that much more authentic. And besides, where else can you stay in an ex-brothel that's been converted into a hotel? Man, I slept so cozy and comfortable in this bed last night. No telling what stories this bed could tell. Just kidding, uh, Nigel uh, made sure to tell me that they did replace all the mattresses and all the bedding and it's been almost 10 years since this place operated as a brothel, so just about everything's been replaced. But the grounds still have that interesting, quirky feel. And that's why I liked staying here. And that's why I would definitely stay here again. Anyway, before I check out, uh, I feel like I should just give a few final thoughts about this place. Uh, as far as just practical logistics go, if you want to stay here. I mean, first of all, it's in an amazing location. It's right off of the highway. But like I said, I think I mentioned this last night, you can hardly hear it. It's very peaceful, very quiet, um, but very convenient to get to. Um, yeah, you are kind of out in the middle of nowhere. So, well, you got to make sure to bring your own food for dinner. Uh, obviously, breakfast is provided. But if you're traveling with a dog, uh, they do allow dogs and they don't even charge an extra pet fee. How about that? And they do a really good job cleaning the rooms because I don't even know if anyone with a dog has ever stayed in my room. Because you certainly couldn't see any evidence of that. So yeah, if you're looking for some place kind of different to stay instead of wading into the mess that is Las Vegas, well, this definitely qualifies. And it's not that far from Vegas. I think we're about two and a half hours north of town. So we're pretty ideally situated about halfway between Vegas and Reno if you're making that drive and golly well you just couldn't ask for a more beautiful backyard and I should also mention this is a great place to stay if you're going to Death Valley we're only about an hour from Death Valley National Park so this is a great place to base camp on your way over the mountains there to explore all the wonders of Death Valley so whether you're going to Vegas, whether you're going to Reno, whether you're going to Death Valley, or whether you're not sure where you're going, <laughs> it's just a great option and a very interesting slice of Nevada. <laughs>